You there, Ian. Philippa. How often do you try to interact with each other when you're out? Every 15 minutes or so. Every 15 minutes. Hello, Danny. There was an, an alarming amount of, of crime going up. Literally every day there was something on the internet, sometimes two or three things about burglaries, houses, cars, sheds, that kind of thing, um, suspicious activity going on. There was an elderly lady who doesn't live too far from where we are now that was burgled and um, part of the stash that was taken was her husband's uh, World War II medals. So it hit home with a lot of us, so we decided that the police are strapped, so we would support the police and help the police and we would go out and do patrols to stop or certainly try and stem the crime on vulnerable people in this area and that's what we did. It's like these areas here, they're not lit. So we'll, walk, we'll have a look down there, put a torch on there, make sure we get something towards, doing little things like that. We pick up on that, we're, that everybody knows. If you see a gate open at, at two o'clock in the morning, you know something's not right. And we will close it if need be. So you think it's actually made people more aware of thinking about locking the gates and shutting the windows oh, and things? Most definitely. Oh, 100%. 100%. I say when we went on that first went on that estate, there were over 100 windows open one night. Now it's down to maybe 10, 15. But they've all got locks on, locks on them now as well. It's lovely to know that we've got patrollers out every night keeping us safe. Um, when my eldest used to live at home and he was going out, I always felt that he was safe coming home because I felt that there'd be people out looking out for him. We don't do it for praise. We don't do it for egotistical reasons. We just do it because we just do it. There's no political agenda. There's nothing involved. We just do it as a group of people. We go out and we want to help the community. That's it.